With the recent release in the UK of the home style crispy chicken, which is actually a chicken burger that they've had in other parts of the world as well, it got me thinking about my favourite limited burgers from McDonald's, including chicken burgers. And so, I compiled a list, and I'm going to go through the list. I've just ruined the intro. Let's go. Hello everyone, welcome to Food Review UK Vlogs and another list. So as I said in that intro, this is my top five favourite limited i top five limited time burgers from McDonald's, which does include chicken burgers. So I went through the history of our channel, I looked at all the different burgers that we've tried and we, had, you know, more than any other fast food chain, we have done McDonald's reviews because in the past uh, and even during these COVID times, they have been very generous with the number of limited editions they release, in, in, including uh, something that I don't think a lot of countries actually get, to be honest, which is like month-long events where you get a different burger every week. And so that has rattled up, like a, I mean, racked up, that's, rattled up isn't a phrase. So that has racked up a good number of different reviews on the channel. So at number five, it is the Homestar Crispy Chicken. Mmm. It's quite savoury, I'm holding it upside down there, but hopefully you can get a look inside it. Yeah, this is a recent release from McDonald's, and maybe I'm getting caught up in the hype a little bit. I did recently review it, and I did love it. Um, but it's, I think it may just be the overwhelming, uh, refreshing feel of going from years, and I do literally mean years, it's been about four or five years since McDonald's have been using chicken selects in their limited time chicken sandwiches in the UK um, and they've now finally got a actual special edition chicken patty with a very thick and crispy batter which I I think is probably simply the home style um, like patty that's probably what they mean by home style but I do hope that that name doesn't prohibit them from using it on other burgers. I think this is the patty that they should just use on limited time chicken burgers from now on and yeah what, what what even is it if you haven't had it it's uh it's basically a nice sort of gourmet style bun with poppy seeds and sesame seeds on it's got a caramelized onion compote spicy mayo and then the usual kind of cah cahorts or cahoots yeah this video is filled with mad phrases that you would see in mcdonald's burgers like bacon and cheese uh, and just that excellent patty so yeah just an all-round really nice quite normal chicken burger at number four it is the Italian Stack, and this is the version from 2019, because this is the second iteration that we got of this, and this second iteration basically had uh, pesto mayo in it, which the previous version didn't have, and the, pesto, the, the presence of the pesto mayo was the thing that made this, because um, from the previous year, or previous couple years before, uh, it had did have a tomato sauce. It was like a tomato. I think it was like a tomato and herb sauce, or an Italian style tomato sauce, and that coupled really well with the meat and the pesto sauce. And it just, you know, tomato sauce, pesto, beef. It it screamed Italian. Mm. So let's have a look at the pesto sauce. We did do a review of it back then. Um, so there it is. A little bit misaligned on my one. So I'm actually going to flip my bun around. Uh, also, didn't look like I had too much. I don't look like I have too much there in it. Not a massive amount there. There's not a massive amount. Here we go. Mmm. Oh. It was a very good sort of iteration of Italian burger from McDonald's. A previous version that we had was the Italian classic, and that had pepperoni in. I think a version that had pepperoni, pesto sauce, and tomato sauce. I think that'd be absolutely incredible, along with the toasted cheese bun. Actually, there was a toasted cheese bun on the Italian classic, which was really good as well. Um, yeah, I'd love to see that that combination. That'd be really good if they do do like a great tastes of the world again. I'd love to see that. That'd be awesome. But yeah, a very solid and very different burger. At number three is the Ranch California Chicken. This is a couple years ago as well. Uh, this was actually a Chicken Selects burger. So even though uh, Chicken Selects in a burger, it's not ideal because the, the it, it just makes the burger so unstable and it makes the bites uneven because you might get some bites with no Chicken Selecting. So it's just, it's just not ideal. But 
those points aside, I, I do actually love chicken selects. I love the taste of them. I think they're tender. I think the coating is crispy and excellent. So to be fair, some of the bites were amazing. And um, I'm also not a massive fan of gimmicks so much. So the Amer Ranch, Amer what is, was it Ranch California? I can't remember what it's called. So the Ranch California chicken, it was basically just a very normal chicken burger. So nice bun. Those selects had a ranch sauce. Now, ranch is definitely like a, a, a bigger thing in America. It's basically, it's not far off like a garlic mayo in, in the UK. Uh, it's basically a slightly cooling, so it might have like sour cream or whatever in, um, or, or buttermilk, actually. Traditionally, it would have buttermilk in. I don't know why I said sour cream first. Um, buttermilk, herbs, and garlic in mayo. Basically, if you want to make it at home, I've got a recipe on the channel. Uh, it goes really, really well with chicken because of those herbs in there and the buttermilk. Uh, and it's just an, it, oh, it's definitely my favourite sauce for like chicken sandwiches. Uh, couple that with pepper jack cheese, a very small but significant change from just like a basic cheese slice there. That combination, along with a few other accoutrements that were in the in the burger, it was just a perfect blend. Like I say, I'm not a gimmick man, so this was just. Very normal, but like the peak of what you're gonna get from McDonald's for chicken burgers in my eyes. This is me opening it for the first time. Ooh, ooh, a nice reveal there. Nice bun. Ooh, that is a handsome burger. Look at that, it looks really well made. Mmm, that's really good. Quite a lot of ingredients, <laughs> sauce. Absolutely delicious, and actually if they're gonna do Another limited edition chicken burger using that new Homestyle Crispy Chicken Patty. I'd love to see a new iteration of the Ranch California. At number two, I sort of alluded to it earlier during the Italian conversation, but it's the Arizona Nacho Grande. Now, the interesting thing about this one is if you look back at my review, I actually didn't like rate it super, super, super massively. But since then, you know, it's been about five years. My tastes have evolved. It's been six years, actually. Uh, my tastes have evolved a fair bit. So the na the Arizona Nacho Chicken Grande, obviously it was like a sort of Tex-Mex Mexican-style burger. So it had pepperoni, nacho cheese sauce, and crispy tortilla nachos inside as well, along with, I think, it had, like, lettuce and obviously a sesame seed bun. Mmm. Ooh. Oh look, the sauce is getting stuck in my moustache again, I'm sorry guys. I don't know where Arizona is, I'll Google that. Yeah, but um, just incredible. What an incredible mix of flavours. The cheese sauce, so creamy, salty, lightly spicy. You get salty, spicy and meaty punch from the pepperoni. You've still got your beef burger in there, so there's your juiciness and the, obviously the body of the burger. And then the crunch from the nachos. Oh man, it's honestly making my mouth water. This is a really interesting and unique set of combination of flavours from McDonald's where uh, typically they don't really, th well, at least it doesn't seem like they really think about texture too heavily in there. In some of their burgers, you've got like, um, I think you've had like crispy fried onions before, but there's very rarely been like a crispy or hard element in McDonald's sandwiches. In fact, I'd love to see something like a crisp uh, cheeseburger one day, which has got crisps in. But uh, anyway, nacho, close enough to a crisp, really. So yeah, this had that extra level of texture on top of those interesting flavours. I would absolutely love to see this return. Again, I'd love to see it in like an, like an amped up form with a special bun, maybe another special sauce on top of the nacho cheese sauce. But yeah. Amazing idea, um, sort of wish I loved it more at the time, but looking back, maybe it, maybe it's rose-tinted glasses, guys, I don't know, or like, that's not even true, because I, I, I liked it less at the time, my tastes have evolved, and I am sure that I would love it more now. Anyway, on to number one, which is the Tennessee Stack. So, elephant in the room, the Tennessee Stack was special to me. <laughs> For more than just the reason that it was a burger that I really liked. Uh, it was a time where we got to go to McDonald's headquarters. So, uh, you know, it was, it was a good number of years ago now. Something like five years ago. Um, I hadn't worked with, like, many companies by that point. There was a few companies that had reached out to us. Um, but we, we hadn't really worked with anyone massive. So uh, McDonald's reaching out to us and asking if we would come down to the headquarters and review their burgers. Their, like, new sort of relaunch stack range was, like 
absolutely incredible. It's such an amazing opportunity. We had so much fun at the headquarters there. Yeah, if I just if I just so hold it up and you night. just you just smile. <laughs> <laughs> mm. What are you gonna say? Mm. 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 Wow. You know when I said I might not eat all of the burgers? Yeah, all of them. I'm definitely eating all of the burgers. As you in. know when I said I think it's a great idea wearing a white jumper <laughs> to a fast, messy fast food um, preview? Oh, yeah, 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 cool. cool. Yeah, that was a terrible idea. Of Very messy. It, literally half of it has just fallen out. It's really nice though. I really like the barbecue. Mm. It's like a really sweet mm. Yeah, this, this tastes like a new barbecue sauce in there. Mm. And fair play to them for putting on like a big deal for this like stack release of burgers because we really rated all of them. But my favourite by far from the bunch was the Tennessee stack. The, again, it, it's like this is not really like a gimmicky burger. This is just a really good classic burger done really well. So first of all it was a stack so it had like the double big patties in there so that was amazing. Uh, it had grilled onions so the grilled onions worked really well with the really tasty tennessee barbecue sauce in there which was amazing sweet and smoky and delicious but the thing that really set it off and it's a really minor and really subtle change but it made all the difference it was that the cheese in there was still a processed cheese slice but it was a smoked processed cheese slice so i think they said it was like applewood and that just added an extra layer of saltiness and an extra layer of uh, like a depth of flavor that just brought the whole thing together and then the bun was a really nice soft bun as well. Uh, one of my all-time favourite burgers from McDonald's, uh, even including their mainstays on the menu, like the Big Tasty and like just their plain double cheeseburger I'm a big fan of. But yeah, that is it, guys. So that is my top five limited item menu burgers from McDonald's. I hope you enjoyed this video. Are there any that I've missed, guys? There's obviously loads I haven't done in the top five. I could have really done a top ten, but it was just too hard to whittle it down. Um... Anyway guys, what are your favourites from the years? What would you like to see from McDonald's in the future? If you're new, please subscribe for more. It will always help us out if you like the video. And we'll see you next time. Cheers.